What's going on guys? This is Tyler from the Southwest Wheel Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at the BK13HYD-TK. This is going to be our 5200 pound hydraulic kit with Temkin bearings. See right here this box we get it in. We've got our nice logo on it. We've got our two smaller boxes. We'll pull our true ride and drum out of here. This is going to be the six hole five and a half bolt pattern with the races already pressed in. And we're gonna have our hydraulic backing plate. We've got the piston right here. On the other side, we have our in and our out. And then as well, when you're deciding which one's left hand and which one's right hand, this points towards the truck. And we're gonna pull out our other parts here with our Timken bearings. Small part. We have our other hub and drum. Are the backing plate. So in this kit we're going to get two hub and drums, a left hand and a right hand backing plate. And then these are Timken brand bearings. They are made in the U.S. Um, their inners are going to be the 25 580s. We're going to get two of those. And our outers are going to be the 15 123s and we're going to get two of those. And we're going to get four grease caps. And the reason that we get four of these as we can see, two of these are going to be solid for just the regular spindles. The two of these are going to be, have this little hole in them for the easy loop spindles, along with the little rubber cap. And we can see here, we're also going to get four seals. And the reason that we're going to get four is two of these are going to be one and a quarter, and two of them are going to be one and an eighth. The one and a quarter are for the older style. The one and an eighth are going to be for the newer style axles. More than likely, this can be what you need. Then we have our hardware. And we're going to get two castle nuts. Just our regular flat washers for the regular spindles. Um, two cotter pins. Generally, you're not going to need these, but we like to make sure that you get everything you need just in case you do need them. And then we're going to get two of these tang washers for the easy loose spindles. So we have our lug nuts, we're going to get 12 of these. And then we're going to get the mounting hardware for the backing plates. So with this mounting hardware, generally these are already going to be on the plate on the axle, but sometimes they fall out. You just push them in, they're really easy. So you just push them through the plate, push them through here, screw them in and you're good to go. That's pretty much it guys, that's the hydraulic backing plate with the Timken bearings, that's going to be the BK13HYD-TK.